In 1939, during the beginning of the Second World War, Poland was attacked by Germany and the Soviet Union. Helpless Polish citizens, including many women and children, were displaced and tried to escape. Those that could not escape faced atrocities, war crimes, forced labor and imprisonments. It was during this time when an Indian Maharaja from Gujarat showed his generosity by saving almost 1,000 Polish children who had successfully escaped the brutality of the war in their own homeland. But wait a minute, most Poles today have never heard about it. Why? Much of World War II centered on Poland. A significant part of our school textbooks covered the history of World War II, but for some strange reasons, this particular incident of the Indian Maharaja finds no mention. I decided to meet with a principal of a Polish government-run school who herself has pursued history as a subject during her higher education in Poland. Nie pierwszy raz słyszę tę historię. Jestem zaskoczona, że w ogóle w Polsce nie mówi się o tym. To było rzeczywiście wielkie poświęcenie, wspaniałe w ogóle wydarzenie i jestem zaskoczona. Nigdy w życiu tutaj w Polsce o tym nie słyszałam. Powinno się właśnie o takich rzeczach mówić. Mówi się o wielu osobach, które ratowały życie w czasie II wojny światowej. Natomiast tą historię słyszę pierwszy raz. Czy ta historia jest w programie nauczania w Polsce? Nie, tej historii nie ma. I w ogóle zastanawiam się dlaczego, bo to powinno być w podręczniku, ewentualnie powinno się poinformować nawet nas, nauczycieli o tym, żebyśmy mogli to propagować, rozpowszechniać taką piękną historię. Mr. Bandari is a former ambassador of India to United Arab Emirates and to Poland. Way back, I mean this is Second World War, when the children from Siberia, foreign children, Uh, they were rescued and they were uh, distributed to any country who was willing to take them. And uh, I, I learned it from recorded uh, books uh, that a shipload of Polish children were, uh, you know, brought to India, but there was no one who was offering to take them. And the Maharaja of Jamnagar uh, offered to host these children. And therefore, thereafter, I mean, these few thousand children, actually, he provided uh, all facilities and uh, they lived for a few years. They were provided schools, health, everything. So much so that I believe when time came to return, these children didn't want to go back because they didn't know. Many of them had lost their parents. And so therefore, When I was ambassador in Poland between 2007 and 2009, I got to meet some of them. And especially when our president, uh, Mrs. Pratibha Patel, when she was visiting Poland on the state visit, I made sure that uh, a delegation of these children met. Uh, so now there are not many uh, surviving because uh, during my time, they were telling me about 300 of them are still alive, but spread all over the world because when they went back they did not necessarily settle down in Poland they went to different countries and uh, but they were meeting every year but now these meetings have become also very uh, you know not so frequent uh, not annual meetings because not many are surviving anymore I'm not sure if 100 are alive but it is a very hard uh, you know moving a story of the children, how this Maharaja really, you know, offered and they became so close to each other. Evelina is a flight attendant who has traveled significantly in different parts of the world. She has the opportunity to meet and interact with many passengers on a daily basis. She has spent a lot of time in India exploring the country's various areas. However, she had never heard about this particular connection between India and Poland. Niestety nie znam żadnego Polaka, który usłyszałby wcześniej o historii Maharadży. Dużo podróżuję, byłam również w Indiach, znam Polaków, którzy byli w Indiach, a żaden z nich nie słyszał wcześniej o tej historii. Uważam, że jest to na tyle ważny element polskiej historii, że dzieci powinny się uczyć tego w szkołach. Polacy powinni się o tym dowiedzieć. Więc ja, jako Polka, byłabym szczęśliwa, jeżeli Karolina, Ty byś jako również Polka tą wiedzę przekazała naszym rodakom, 
ponieważ to niesie za sobą wielką inspirację dla nas, jak ważne jest pomaganie innym ludziom, ponieważ w dzisiejszych czasach również istnieje wiele osób, które tej pomocy potrzebują. Więc dla nas jest to ogromna lekcja. So what can be done? Well, on numerous occasions I have been asked to produce a documentary film on this subject in Polish. This is something that I haven't ruled out. But don't you think that in the Polish school textbooks and in the history-related syllabuses of our universities, the generous Indian Maharaja of Navanagar, Sri Vijay Sinji Ranjit Sinji Jadeja, also deserves a place? See you again.